Hey guys, Splinter24 here coming to you just to do an update on my braids. Um, I have been enjoying them for the last, I'd say, um, four weeks. Um, it's been four weeks. Um, actually, this weekend, it's going, today's Friday and it's going to be five weeks this week. So I plan on taking them out next weekend. Um, because I really wanted to enjoy them for the full six weeks pretty much get my money's worth and I have been absolutely loving them they are gorgeous still um, they're def there's definitely some growth at the front and as you can see I've been styling this stuff okay so um, I said I'd come back to show you some styles that I do which I will um, just now but I just wanted to let you know that I mean they're still in they're still awesome and, and the beauty of it that is that I have not just been wearing them especially when it was it's getting staler I definitely have been trying to style my hair um, to definitely mix it up a little bit because as you know when you do wear braids after a while they kind of get limp and not as fresh anymore so you want to do stuff with your hair um, not just uh, to pull it back um, which kind of strains your hair too because although they're small they definitely will add weight and kind of tension to your hairline and so on so um, this is one of the styles that I did and I just judged this up this morning and most of the styles that I've been doing have consisted of braiding um, hair and just manipulating them accordingly so I'm going to show you how I got this style done and um, definitely uh, hopefully it will give you some ideas as to how you would want to style your braids if you do have them in the only thing with these braids I have washed them only once because it's not hot hair and I don't really sweat in my head um, and I'm not trying to antagonize my scalp so I washed them so as once, I said I just I washed my hair once um, because it wasn't really necessary so what I do use is this little ketchup bottle thing I put water and just a clear shampoo in it clarifying shampoo so it doesn't leave any creamy residue on there and it works very well because you do get to get to the scalp you directly. just massage it in and just let the water from the shower which I do do this in the shower just flow through the hair um, I try to kind of get the edges a little bit more delicately here because I do have very fine hair here and I do have a genetic kind of receding hair which is like hair has no hair it's just baby hairs that pretty much I I just tell when they braid my hair I tell them to avoid that area but you'll see it when I am styling my hair because I'm gonna show you so this is it shake it up I put some a little bit of oil in it too just to kind of I don't know add to the moisturization process. but it works well know. and it did well and I washed my hair about two weeks in so or three weeks maybe three weeks so it wasn't necessary for me to do it again I didn't think I had a hopster sniff stick my scalp and he said it was okay and usually he would tell you if it's not so um, I'm happy with that that I didn't have to like be washing it and maintaining it too much but um, another thing as far as my routine so my just hair, to keep I it use... shiny and looking crisp and healthy I typically use this braid sheen absolutely love this one I don't like that ORS one because I just find that it's too greasy <sighs> and I find like if I spray my hair with that ORS one just from back in the day it's like you're gonna kill yourself because the residue goes on the tile which my bathroom is tiled and it's like you're gonna go kill yourself sliding all over the place this it does is not, not greasy at all it does have some moisturizing factor to it it does say that and it does feel nicely moisturized and it definitely gives you shine without that greasy look so this is the ISO plus and the one that I got this time was the lavender one which they have just a regular one but I like the smell of this because some of them also smell a little bit toxic to me so I absolutely love this and this is what I've always used um, the ISO plus line I really like it so at night pretty simple I pretty much just use one of these 
sock things that you can get from Tony Daily. This one I got from Tony. Um, I also have this one that I've gotten before at Ardeen's. Um, but this really holds your hair down. You put it on and it just keeps your hair intact and just laid. And definitely you don't have like hair all over the place on your pillow and just mess like you know I don't like to feel hair on my the back of my neck especially when I'm sleeping so with this you put it on it keeps your hair in control and definitely um, you don't get like messy hair at the end of so the anyway night. let's get into how I style my hair so this number one style is just it's so easy if I can do it guys because you know I'm no stylist uh, as far as hair goes I'm just a breed out girl so I was shocked that I could do this so pretty much this is the look of it and pretty much it's just like a halo type thing on your hair and simply what you do this is one of the versions of this plaited up style so exactly what you, you need for it which is not no big deal like no big deal at all you'll need hairpins definitely hairpins you'll need one of these little rubber things um, for the ends of your hair and for other styles I'll just show you what I use for all the styles that I do I like this goodie little barrette that keeps your hair in place and then for my buns I use one of these um, goodie ones but I also use the longer ones to kind of get my hair together so I'm gonna just show you so with this style I'll just show you um, not everything but it's all in just plaiting the hair so you just plait what you feel like plaiting and then you do a pinup of sorts so what I did with this is I wanted an off-center look so what I did plait the hair fasten it with at the ends with the um, little rubber bands that I showed you and pretty much all I did was just crisscross it at the back and pinned it And that's how you get that another one that I showed on Instagram so here's my hair out and the other one that I'm gonna show you is pretty much a middle part and this is what I'm talking about my hair this is how my hair has always been from I was a child there's like no hair right here right but because I have a lot of hair um, you don't really see that but even for me to pull back my, my hair you can see that there's like sparseness right here and I never really wear weaves so it's not that I've always had this as a kid one side is a little bit more bald <laughs> than the other but that's cool I'm used to it so that one I just grab a set of hair plait it and I plait it going back because that's the direction in which I'm gonna be pinning the hair down And try to get your ends like ball them up so they don't they're not flying all over the place to the other side this is the look so what you do is like pull it to the back and then you have this beautiful Grecian look so you kind of tuck this under so it's not seen and then you pin it down. And you do the same for this side.
okay so there you have it absolutely easy just gorgeous in my opinion and easy to do so with this style I did something else that kind of took it to another level and showed this picture on Instagram and I just loved it I wore this to church the other day so what this is is you go a little a step further and you plait a section the section that's below same thing as the top one so you have now you have four plaits so what I do is do as I did with the first one do the halo thing again pin it down with the, your your pins okay make sure it's secure and then you use the other plaid and you kind of crisscross it again find a spot so it's not it's discreet and you stick it in here So yes guys, um, I really love this one. It just really heightens the sophistication of the look. And if you see any hair sticking out, just tuck it in wherever, just, you know, to make it tidy. So yeah, here she is. Sorry I'm not able to be, um, like have a spinner on chair. It's just not working. I'm on a bed here. So yeah. So this is the look that I absolutely love. And I've just absolutely been enjoying it. And then I do the basic bun. So buns are kind of hard to do because for me, the length of the hair and all of that sometimes it's kind of difficult but you just gotta work it um, and I like buns when the days are warmer because I don't want all this hair on my neck for the right. buns I usually just flip my hair forward and I use the goodie band either this size or something smaller um, bigger like a headband type put my hair forward Pull it up, get it all in here. And you make sure your hair is placed where you want it to be placed. Turn the tie like this. And then just stick the hair through it. And then with the excess hair, you kind of try and get it together as best as possible. I just pull it around and I tuck it in two. The bun itself. So all these little straggly pieces, just get them in. And I did kind of trim my ends of the braids because if you see it looks a little bit sharp right here because they were kind of looking kind of trashy especially after I washed it to so try and stick them in and there you have it a bun 
gorgeous, regal, awesome, and oh hot. yeah. That so, is it guys for my little run through of what I've been doing with my hair. Not my hair, my rope twists. And I must say I absolutely enjoyed having them in. They were just awesome to have, just to have a break from my own hair. Why do I keep looking to that side thing? And I mean, I just was able, I think this is the first time I've done so much with my hair, like personally. Um, because I am not creative in that sense but look and it's okay if you have a little bit of this stuff hanging down for me because I'm not a perfectionist I'm not trying to hear having everything laid and on fleek every which way right so works anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video sorry about the inconsistency but I ain't got nothing to say <laughs> right so um, I hope you guys are sticking with me despite that watch my whole videos um, I don't vlog a lot because I my husband finds it very uncomfortable seriously like he doesn't want the camera around when we're having our alone time um, it's a difficult thing for me because there are some aspects of my life um, which agreeably I will want to keep to myself but there are fun things that we do that I would really love to show even going out for dinner if I pull my camera out it's like a problem so I got to respect that and that's why I mean I would love to go in that direction because I was doing vlogs like even my summer series from back in 2000 when 11 when I didn't even know there were vlogs when we used to go out and about and do stuff um, I used to vlog quite a bit but I mean if the man says no then and I then it kind of turns me off too because it's hard for me to do it on my own. like I wouldn't mind doing it on my own but it's kind of weird when you have somebody beside you it's it's kind of better it's not like you're a mad person walking around talking to this thing so I'm sorry about that but any real life stuff it's basically you know I do a lot of thrifting stuff on my other channel the Splintapolis Life so if you guys want to check me out that's fine and as always if I have anything new to say or a product that I love I'll definitely come on and speak to you guys about it but I do miss you guys I miss having that weekly interaction with you because I used to do um, videos very often and you know it's I, I just think it's kind of unfair to my die-hard subscribers that I don't do it as much anyway, anymore. Anyway guys, take care. Bye!